Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to solve particular integral when we have x is equals to x raised to m into v. Yes, we know that here v is a sin ax or cos of ax and m is here positive integer. In last lecture, we have seen how to proceed for this type of x when we have v is equals to sin ax and cos of ax. Yes, we know that when we have v is equals to cos of ax, we have pi is equals to real part of this 1 upon f of d into x raised to m e raised to i a x, right? And when we have v is equals to sin ax, we have the imaginary part of this operation, right? So now let's proceed for the example. Yes, here we have to solve this differential equation. So first we will find CF. For CF we need auxiliary equation and it is given by this d square minus 1 is equals to 0. Yes, we have to put this f of d is 0. So the roots of this auxiliary equations are this is, these roots are real and distinct. So now CF is given by, yes, C1 e raised to this x plus C2 e raised to this is minus x. Okay, now we have to find PI. For PI we have formula, this is 1 upon f of d into x. So f of d and x here we have to write down. x is this x square into sin 3x. So yes, here we have x square into sin 3x. So we have, this is, here we have as a sin 3x, so we have to find imaginary part of, yes, we have to find the imaginary part of this operation and that is required pi, right? Okay, now first we will solve this operation. So here we have yes. Now this is of this form x is equals to e raised to ax into x raised to m, right? So how to solve this one? We have to take this is e raised to this ax this is outside and at the same time here we have to replace this d by d plus a a is here thrice i now we have to simplify this is yes this is here square so this is d square this is 6 d i this is minus 9 minus 1 Yes, here we have this is 3i square, this is 9i square and this is minus 9 since i square is equals to minus 1. So we got, now we have to operate this f of d on this x square, right? So what we have to do, yes, we have to express this f of d as a 1 plus pi of d, right? So for this here we have to take lowest degree term, this is outside. So here we have, we have to take this is lowest degree term, this is minus 10, here we have to take outside. So here we will have, this is 1 plus, this is d square 6 i d upon this is minus 10, right? And this is x square. So here we have this is 1 minus. Now we have to take this 1 minus f of d. This is in numerator. And that is with negative index. So here we have. Now we have to expand this expression. Yes and here. Yes. Here we have this is minus. Right. This is minus sign here. 
So here we have this is 1 minus x raised to minus 1. So yes, what is its expansion? This is here we have minus. So here we have all plus sign here. Yes and so on. So here we have to expand this is. Now we have to operate this bracket on this x square, right? So yes. So on simplification here we will have yes here we will get the terms of square and higher than square so yes we will write down this term of square here so yes yes when we operate others term on this x square we got 0 yes here we have that means when we operate terms of d cube and higher than order of this d cube here we get derivative of this x square is 0 right so yes here we have write down term up to d square now we have to operate this derivative terms on this x square so yes here we have first here we will write down this x square then d square by 10 this is on x square then yes again this is so yes double derivative of x square this is 2 then derivative of x square this is twice x then this is i square this is we will write minus 1 and d square this is here double derivative of x square this is again 2 now we will simplify this expression yes we will write down this constant term so here we have So yes, here we have find the value of this expression, right? Yes, and now pi is what? Pi is the imaginary part of this expression, right? So for this we will write down, yes, this is as a this cos of 3x plus i times sine of 3x yes yes now we have to multiply this bracket to this bracket right so that we can separate imaginary parts easily here so yes we will multiply first this is by cos of 3x yes first we will multiply to this term which is free from i so here we have yes then plus cos of 3x into this is 6 by 5 i x right then by this i sin 3x to this here Again same here we will multiply it to this term which is free from i then term with i. So here we have this is i square sin 3x and this is 6 by 5 i x. Now we will simplify this expression here. So first we will write down terms of i closer to each other here we have this term and this is terms of i right so we will write down yes then here we have these are the terms of i 
then we will write down this term here yes i square this is minus 1 yes when we multiply this to this term here we have this is i square so remaining is here 6 by 5x so 6 by 5x into sine of 3x so yes this is the term which is free from i yes now we want the imaginary part of this expression yes now here we have this term with i and this is term which is free from i so imaginary part of this expression is this term in which here we have i so yes we will write down here So yes, this is the pi, yes, we have write down terms of i here, so that is imaginary terms of this expression, so we got required pi. So in this way we can write solution y is equals to c f plus pi. So yes, this is the solution for given differential equation. Yes, how we have proceed for this given differential equation? First we check this differential equation is of this form. Then we have write down pi and pi is given by imaginary part of this expression. So first we have solved this expression by using earlier cases and we have separate the terms of i which gives imaginary part of this expression so that is our required pi in this way we have find solution for this differential equation so yes that's it for now see you in the next video thank you keep watching